Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Career Prep. In this video, we'll solve a few problems on tables in the topic data interpretation. Since questions based on this topic are most frequently asked in competitive exams, it makes sense to understand and practice as many questions as possible. These questions are the ones where marks can be scored easily if practiced well. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. Study the following table and answer the questions based on it. So this is a table which gives us the number of candidates appeared, qualified and selected in a competitive examination from five states, Delhi, Himachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab and Haryana over the years 1997 to 2001. Now, as you can see in this table, each row is dedicated for the years from 1997 to 2001. So each row gives information for the particular year 1997, 1998, 1999, 2000 and 2001. And each column represents the five states. First column is for Delhi. Second column is for Himachal Pradesh. Third column is for Uttar Pradesh. Fourth column is for Punjab. And fifth column is for Haryana. And under each state, the columns are further subdivided to show the number of candidates who appeared, number of candidates who qualified, and number of candidates who got selected in the competitive examinations. Now, as you can see, for 1997 in Delhi, the number of candidates that appeared is 8,000, number of uh, candidates that qualified is 850 and number of candidates that got selected is 94. And for the year 1998, the number of, uh, for Delhi, the number of candidates that got, uh, that appeared is 4,800. The number of candidates that qualified is 500. The number of candidates that got selected is 48. Similarly, for the other years and for the other states. Now, based on all this information, you have to answer the given questions. Now, this is the table which gives us information regarding the number of candidates who appeared, qualified and got selected in a competitive examination for these five states for these five years. Now, based on the data given in this table, let's answer the given question. For which state the average number of candidates selected over the years is the maximum? You are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you are asked to find out for which state the average number of candidates selected over the years is the maximum. Now the data for the number of students who got selected for from the state of Delhi over the years is given in this column. The number of candidates who got selected from uh, Himachal Pradesh over the years is given in this column. The number of candidates who got selected from Uttar Pradesh over the years is given in this column. The number of candidates who got selected from Punjab is given in over the years is given in this column. And the number of students who got selected from Haryana over the years is given in this column. Now let's find the 
average number of candidates selected over the years for the various states we know that average is nothing but sum of the items divided by number of items here sum of the items is nothing but the sum of the candidates selected and number of items is nothing but the number of years here it is 5 from 1997 to 2001 so the number of items is 5 now let's calculate the average number of candidates selected over the years for the various states now for delhi the average is 94 plus 48 plus 82 plus 90 plus 70 divided by 5 which is nothing but 384 divided by 5 which is 76.8 so the average for delhi is 76.8 The average number of candidates selected over the years for Himachal Pradesh is 82 plus 65 plus 70 plus 86 plus 75 divided by 5, which is 378 divided by 5, which is nothing but 75.6. So the average for uh, Himachal Pradesh is 75.6. The average number of candidates selected over the years for Uttar Pradesh is 78 plus 85 plus 48 plus 70 plus 80 divided by 5, which is nothing but 361 divided by 5, which is 72.2. So for Uttar Pradesh, the average is 72.2. The average number of candidates selected over the years for Punjab is. 85 plus 70 plus 65 plus 84 plus 60 divided by 5, which is nothing but 364 divided by 5, which is 72.2. So for Punjab, the average is 72.8. The average number of candidates selected over the years for Haryana is 75 plus 75 plus 55 plus 60 plus 75. Divided by five, which is nothing but three forty divided by five, which is sixty eight. So for Haryana, the average is sixty eight. Now clearly, as you can see, the average is maximum for Delhi. So the correct answer is option A, Delhi. This table gives us data. regarding the number of candidates who appeared who qualified and who got selected for a competitive examination from these five states for these five years now based on the data given in this table let's answer the given question the percentage of candidates qualified from punjab over those who appeared from punjab is highest in which year you are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one now the data regarding the number of candidates who appeared the number of candidates who qualified and the number of candidates who got selected from punjab over the uh, five years is given in these three columns now let's find the percentages of candidates qualified from punjab over those who appeared from punjab during the different years now for 1997 the number of candidates who qualified from punjab is 680 number of candidates who appeared from punjab is 8200 so for 1997 the percentage is 680 divided by 8200 multiplied by 100 which is 8.29%. Now for the year 1998 the number of students who qualified from Punjab is 600 the number of candidates who appeared from Punjab is 6800. So for 1998 the percentage is 600 divided by 6800 multiplied by 100 which is 8.82% for the year 1999 the number of candidates who qualified from punjab is 525 the number of candidates who appeared from punjab is 6500 so for 
1999 the percentage is 525 divided by 6500 multiplied by 100 which is 8.02 8.08% for the year 2000 the number of candidates that qualified from punjab is 720 the number of candidates that appeared from punjab is 7800 so for 2000 the percentage is 720 divided by 7800 multiplied by 100 which is 9.23% for the year 2001 the number of candidates that qualified from punjab is 485 the number of candidates that appeared from punjab is 5700 so for 2001 the percentage is 485 divided by 5700 multiplied by 100 which is 8.51%. Now as you can see from here clearly the percentage is highest for the year 2000 which is 9.23%. So the correct answer is option D 2000. And this table gives us data regarding the number of candidates who appeared who qualified and who got selected from the different from these five different states for these five years now based on the data given in this table let's answer the given question in the year 1997 which state had the lowest percentage of candidates selected over the candidates appeared you are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one so let's find out the percentages of candidates selected over the candidates appeared in 1997 for the various states now for delhi In 1997, the number of candidates that got selected is 94, and the number of candidates that appeared is 8,000. So the required percentage is 94 divided by 8,000 multiplied by 100, which is 1.175 percent. For Himachal Pradesh, the number of candidates who got selected is 82, and the number of candidates who appeared. Is seven thousand eight hundred. So for Himachal Pradesh, the required percentage is eighty-two divided by seven thousand eight hundred multiplied by hundred, which is one point zero five one percent. For Uttar Pradesh, the number of candidates who got selected is seventy-eight. The number of candidates who appeared is seven thousand five hundred in the year nineteen ninety-seven. So for uh, uttar pradesh the required percentage is 78 divided by 7500 multiplied by 100 which is 1.040% now for the year 1997 the number of candidates selected from punjab is 85 and the number of candidates who appeared is 8200 so the required percentage for punjab is 85 divided by 8200 multiplied by 100 which is 1.037% now for the year 1997 the number of uh, students who got selected from haryana is 75 and the number of students who appeared is 6400 So the required percentage for Haryana is 75 divided by 6,400 multiplied by 100, which is 1.172 percent. Now, as you can see from here, clearly this percentage is lowest for Punjab. So the correct answer is option D, Punjab. this table gives us data regarding the number of candidates who appeared who qualified and who got selected in a competitive examination for these five states 
over these five years. Now, based on the data given in this table, let's answer the given question. The number of candidates selected from Haryana during the period under review is approximately what percent of the number selected from Delhi during this period? You are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So the number of candidates selected from Haryana over these five years is given in this column. And the number of candidates selected from Delhi over these five years is given in this column. So the required percentage is equal to the number of candidates selected from the total number of candidates selected from Haryana divided by total number of candidates selected from Delhi multiplied by 100. So the required percentage is 75 plus 75 plus 55 plus 60 plus 75 divided by 94 plus 48 plus 82 plus 90 plus 70 multiplied by 100. So the required percentage is 340 divided by 384 multiplied by 100, which is approximately equal to 88.5%. So the correct answer is option D, 88.5%. This table gives us data regarding the number of candidates who appeared, who qualified and who got selected in a competitive examination from these five states for these five years. Now, based on the data given in this table, let's answer the given question. What is the approximate percentage of the total number of candidates selected to the total number of candidates qualified for all the five states together during the year 1999. You are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So for the year 1999, this row gives the data. Now, the total number of candidates selected during the year 1999 is 82 from 70 from Himachal Pradesh plus 48 from Uttar Pradesh plus 65 from Punjab plus 55 from Haryana. The total number of candidates who qualified in the year 1999 is 640 from Delhi plus 560 from Himachal Pradesh plus 400 from Uttar Pradesh plus 525 from Punjab plus 350 from Haryana. So the required percentage is the total number of candidates selected from the five states during the year 1999 divided by total number of candidates who got qualified from the five states in the year 1999. This is nothing but 82 plus 70 plus 48 plus 65 plus 55 divided by 640 plus 560 plus 400 plus 525 plus 350. On solving this, we get the required percentage as 12.93%, which is approximately equal to 13%. So the correct answer is option D, 13%. Viewers, please go through this video till you have understood the concept. Practice more such problems to increase your speed and also to understand the concept clearly. Also, do watch our videos on ratio, average, percentage, profit and loss, 
simple interest, compound interest, etc. for a thorough understanding of the topics which will make it easier for you to solve data interpretation problems. Please do watch our video on line charts for solved problems. If you have liked this video, please like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.